What are lake pigments? I am fully aware that most of you might not find that to be the most riveting topic, but stick around and you might just become just as obsessed as I am with the process of making them. In this video, I will explain what lake pigments are and how to make them in the briefest and least painful way that I can. They're my new favorite thing and I'm going to be making a bunch of them in my upcoming videos, which I'm super excited about. Lake pigments are just like regular pigments, however, instead of the pigment being made by grinding down a material, lake pigments are made by precipitating a dye with a metallic salt. They're precipitated, which means that they are being turned into a solid from a solution, with the use of a strong alkali. You can basically make all kinds of paint from anything with a color. And I think that's pretty great. Now, let me break that down a little bit using red cabbage as an example. There are three components or ingredients that go into making a lake pigment. You need a dye, a metallic salt, and an alkali. Let's start with dyes. Dyes are usually aqueous solutions that contain color, which can then be applied to a material. This is the case in textile dyeing, where the color bonds onto a fabric using a mordant. Dyes can be extracted from materials, either through aqueous extraction or solvent extraction. That's a sciencey way of saying that you can either boil them or you can leave them to stand in alcohol or another solvent, much like the way that tinctures are made. Usually, boiling is the way to go for me. It's much safer and much faster. Now for the metallic salt. The metallic salt that I'm using is alum, also known as hydrated potassium aluminium sulfate. This is the most common, cheap, and easy to find. Alum is used as a mordant and fixative in textile dyeing, amongst other things. I got mine from a local spice shop. Not all dyes will grab onto alum, so it'll be a matter of experimenting. Other than alum, you can also use these metallic salts. The alkali that we are going to use is washing soda. You can also use potash, but washing soda was the easiest to get because I just made it from baking soda. Now to turn this gorgeous red cabbage dye into a powder pigment. I poured the cool dye into a jar and then I got two glasses and poured some hot water into them. I dissolved some washing soda into one cup and some alum in another cup. I stirred till both were dissolved. Then I added the alum solution to my dye. The dye fizzes, and this is usually when you would notice a color change. Since red cabbage is a natural pH indicator, it turned blue as it became basic. I let it settle for a few hours, and then I grabbed a coffee filter and funnel and poured the solution into it. This will filter out the pigment, which will then be dried and ground. After a few hours, the solution was done being filtered, and I ended up with a thick blue paste. I opened up the filter, spread it on a plaster bat, and leveled it out so it could dry faster. 
It's actually a really pretty shade of blue, which is very difficult to make from organic materials. After three days, the paste was dry and had turned into hard dry pieces. I noticed that the color had turned more towards the green side than the blue side. I peeled off the pieces into a coffee grinder, ground them, sifted the powder and ended up with a pile of red cabbage lake pigment. I would call that a success. There's a few things that you can now do with this pigment. You can mix it with gum arabic, honey and glycerin to make watercolor paints egg yolk to make tempera, gum, tragacanth, water and chalk to make soft pastels, or you can do what I do and that is make oil paint by mulling it with an oil or alkyd. If you want to see me turning this red cabbage lake pigment into an oil paint and then testing how it performs, I will be posting a video about that next week. I will also be making paint from and testing a whole bunch of other natural materials. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.